you look a little bit high can you come down a bit that's better isn't it good morning welcome thank you for joining me i hope everybody's well today now you're a little bit close go back a bit go back <laughs> today i have a little collective haul and um se semi try on there's a, there's a couple of clothing items which i have tried on so you'll see some footage on the side here so um Yes, should we get on with it? It might be that side, actually. I think it's on the side there. But no matter. No matter. Um, we'll start off with a little Sephora haul. And I say little, it is actually only two items. I did a thing. I did a thing. Last year, when we went to Santorini, Santorini, yes, on holiday, we stayed in a hotel that had, we went into reception at smelled so so glorious i can't tell you it was just the most beautiful scent and i realized it was a reed diffuser an aqua de palma reed diffuser and i liked it so much i said to ashley i've got to get one of those and i actually took a photograph of it um this was about almost exactly a year ago last may and when i went to where did i go with my best friend for our birthday trip bristol last year we were in um I don't know, department store that used to be House of Fraser and got taken over. Can't remember the name, but that one anyway. And they had Aqua de Palma in there. And over I skipped with joy, thinking I'm going to treat myself to an Aqua de Palma reed diffuser. Then I saw the price. Heavens, heavens. A reed diffuser that doesn't last forever, costing that much, I thought. I can't possibly. But I hadn't stopped thinking about this reed diffuser and um, the beautiful scent. <laughs> and um, I was going through my photos in my phone recently, sorting them out, and I came upon the photograph again. And then the following day, after I come upon the photograph again and thought about um, th th thought about the reed diffuser again and the beautiful smell, Sephora, the naughty devil, sent me a little notification on my phone for £20 off when you spend £80 and coincidentally at the same time I set, I set myself a little savings goal every year and I, I set it in September I don't know really why that's just when I started doing it so I do it yearly in September and coincidentally I've reached my savings goal for the year several months early so all these things combined made me think, sod it, I'm going to buy the Blumen Reed diffuser that I really wanted. Um, and I got the discount made it a bit more palatable, you know. So all of that to say, I bought myself the beautiful Reed diffuser. It is Aqua de Palma Luce de Colonia. Very thrilled with this. I think I'm going to save it for when we get back from, uh, we're going away in two and a bit weeks for a week. Um, so I'm gonna save it until we get back because it lasts for about 12 weeks, I think. And <laughs> I don't wanna lose a week of that because the thing's so expensive. So I kind of feel like I'll um, get, get the, I want to get my bank for my buck, so to speak. So uh, uh, should we open it? Should we do a little unboxing while you're here, while I'm talking about it? very excited about this Oops. it's a good old size it should be for the price that's what it looks like I'm just going to open it and have a little sniff I wish you had smell of vision so you could join me with smelling this oh it's so lovely let me see if it says what the scent actually smells of. I don't think it does, and it's in blimmin' tiny writing. Anyway, but it just smells like lovely holidays to me because it reminds me of that holiday in Santorini. I'm gonna put all this to one side and box it back up afterwards because that's a lot of stuff to do. But um, yeah, very happy with my very bougie reed diffuser treat and um, also slightly horrified that I spent that much money on a reed diffuser. So a, a mixture of feelings about that one, really. Right, the other thing I bought while I was there, because yes, I bought something else, was this little set. I had to buy something to make it up to the amount of money I needed to spend to get the money off. You know how that goes, don't you? The classic buy one, get one, or three for two type scenario that a 
invented to suck us in and are very successful at sucking some of us gullible shoppers in. So I got the Aqua de Palma um, little scent selection. I'm rather enjoying these little scent selections at the moment. Anyone who watches my incoming and outgoing um, beauty products monthly videos will know that um, I did this last month and bought a Melon and Gots one um, that was in the sale. And now I'm going to be regretting this, aren't I? Because there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When I have to account for ten new items in my... Sorry, that's why I need to keep my phone on because I'm waiting for a um, call. Um, yeah, when, when I have to account for these in my monthly incomings and outgoings, I'll probably regret it, but I don't care. I, I've made me happy. And I love the Aqua Department packaging. It just looks classy, doesn't it? And uh, there's various different... Um, fragrances in here they have got the fragrance that is the same as the reed diffuser and another one that's they've got colonia and then colonia essenza and colonia pura um, i will let you know what these are like as i try them but um, that was my little sephora splurge i also got some freebies with the sephora splurge i got this Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I'm not a massive wearer of concealer, but that's quite a nice sample if you are into that sort of thing, because it gives you all the different colours so you can match up your colour. So that's that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, so there's that one. I got a little sample of Gucci Flora, um, which is quite a nice perfume that I like. doesn't last very well on me, but um, always used to good to have these little samples for travel, isn't it? And um, then this one, which is Glowish by Huda Beauty, and it is a multi dew skin tint. Is that like a foundation? Uh, I think that's probably a foundation y type product. And again, you've got three different shades to try there. So, um, not nice samples, those. Next thing I got, I just wanted to give this a shout out really. You may remember I did a Get Ready With Me video a little while ago and I bought some, put my teeth back in, I bought some products to try out from the new Relove by Revolution makeup range, which um, it's USP is that everything is five pounds and under. And I tried the Super Serum Foundation and I liked it very much on first application in that video. And it has gone on to become my favorite foundation. I wear it every day, I have it on today. It is such a good foundation and it is five quid. Um, I do still like the Foera foundation that I've been banging on about for years. Um, however, that my, as my skin ages, I'm finding that is less flattering and uh, my skin's going through a very dry patch at the moment and that is not a great foundation. It's quite thick. So I'm gradually moving away from that and this Revolution Super Serum Foundation is fantastic. I've been using the F2 colour, which is this one, and I decided to repurchase because it's quite a pale colour, um, another F2. This is the new one. I've already got the half used one up in my bedroom um, and an F3 and an F4 there. Um, I don't know if you can see the three different colours. I, I like to mix my foundation to get the right colour. And obviously, as you get darker in the summer, you need a darker colour. Um, so I've got the three, those three colours, which I think will mix well or be used on their own or whatever to adjust as I get more tanned during the summer absolutely love this highly 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 recommend um i'm gonna link I'll, I'll link everything that i can in the description box for you in case you are interested but yeah um if you're looking for a new foundation that's really easy to put on look, look it's um it just spreads really nicely it's quite liquidy it's really nice and easy to pop on with a brush just quick rub all over your face or your fingers or a sponge the sponge is my least favorite for this foundation but um it also gives really good buildable coverage you don't need to build it if you don't want to but i like to build it a little bit over these areas i've got broken veins and redness and it's very very good for a five quid foundation can't go wrong really Right, next, let's move on to the Shein stuff. Bought some Shein stuff. Very much liking Shein for various things. The first thing I bought was something for my upcoming cruise. Um, I wanted to do some yellow accessories with one of my evening outfits and got these little shoes. Shein's great for evening shoes. 
tiny little heel um, and a sling back. Now I've had trouble with sling back shoes from Shein before. I bought some um, just back before Christmas, before we went on a cruise last time and they were terrible. I, I couldn't do two steps without them coming off my back, so off, off the backs of my heels. So I did check out the reviews very thoroughly for these and I am pleased to report that these ones stay on. I don't know what the difference is. It might be to do with the fact they're attached lower down. The other ones seem to be attached further back, but whatever. But isn't that a glorious colour for a summer cruise for accessories? Very pleased with those. Very reasonable price. I had um, a 20% off coupon as well. There's always coupons floating around for Shein, which made everything even cheaper than it already was. This next one is meant to be the matching handbag and this is a fail. This one is going to have to be returned um, because although it's a lovely handbag and would have been perfect had it been the right colour, it is very much gold rather than yellow. Actually, I don't know how much that is picking up on camera, but it is a completely different colour. But yeah, you can see it better if I do that completely different colour, which is a bit of a shame, really. So that one's going back. And I have purchased a bag, which I hope is the right colour, on Vinted, um, a yellow bag. So I'm waiting for that to arrive. Fingers crossed on that one. So that's going to go back. Then my next little purchase was... Do you remember I bought and showed you a little while ago a three-piece pyjama set that I bought from Shein? Um, it, long trousers, a uh, little strappy camisole top, and then an open-fronted sort of long-line kimono jacket. Those pyjamas were the best. I took them on holiday and they were lovely. They're obviously in bed, great, but then I would put on the kimono jacket and go and have my cup of tea on the balcony in the morning. Just gave me that extra little bit of warmth and I felt very glamorous wafting about in my three-piece matching pyjamas. I'll link it below as well because I know a few of you did buy that one after I showed that. Um, it also comes in pink and I'm slightly tempted by the pink, but I was so impressed with that that I wanted a matching for summer, for my upcoming summer holiday in September when we go back to Greece, I wanted a matching sort of camisole nighty and matching dressing gown and I found dressing gown, kimono, robe, thing, I don't know what, negligee, I don't know, that's a very old fashioned word isn't it? Um, anyway, I found one in this print, sort of satiny fabric and I'll insert the footage of me trying it on here, really pleased with it. It was so cheap as well. I think it was about £12 with the 20% off voucher, this set. Also pleased with the fact it has adjustable straps on the back, which is perfect because sometimes the strap length isn't quite right, is it? So that's nice to have as well. But really pleased with that one. And um, I think that because the pyjama set, I'm taking the pyjama set to when we go to Norway on the cruise because that's, again, a little warmer. If I want to go out on the balcony in the morning, it's going to be a bit cooler in Norway than it is here in the UK. Um, so that will be perfect for just popping on in the morning and feeling quite glamorous on the cabin balcony with my cup of tea. So um, there's that one. Then the next thing I bought was this skirt a peacocky sort of tube type skirt. Again, I'll pop the footage in. Does anything say summer more than yellow and blue? How glorious is that combination? I love it. I'm very taken with yellow. I'm very taken with electric blue. And I knew I had a top that would go really nicely with this. It was a top that I bought from Vinted recently. Um, very pleased. This is like a stretchy fabric. I quite like the whole look on me as a plus size person, as I carry most of my weight on the top half, I like to wear a loose fitting top and then with a tube skirt, just sort of narrows my silhouette a little bit towards the bottom. You know, I think it's quite a flattering shape on me, the whole tube skirt and bigger top type thing. Um, so very pleased with that one as well. I've just tried them on and um, as I say, you'll see the footage. The other thing I bought was some beach towels. I haven't had beach towels for years because we usually do hotel holidays and they usually provide beach towels and this time we didn't and we didn't have beach towels. It wasn't really beach weather so it didn't matter but I thought I must get some beach towels. Anyway, she and do beach towels and obviously luggage 
weight and prices and everything being what it was i didn't want something really heavy weight and these are lovely i'm just going to they were only about six pounds five or six pounds each i think with the discount really nice big size they're quite thin they're like microfiber so they will dry you nicely but um they're not thick and they're not heavy which is perfect so i got this which is it's difficult to show you the scale of it but plenty big enough proper big beach towel size that one's for ashley it's a turtle and it's blue and then i got this one for me which is actually i somehow ended up getting to i put two in my basket that i was choosing between and i must i thought i'd deleted the other one and i hadn't and i ended up with three but never mind this one is a flamingo one for me again really nice and lightweight and folds up small and not heavy which is good and then this is the one that i thought i'd taken out of the basket but i hadn't um which is a really nice sort of ombre mermaidy rainbow type design they've got loads of designs on there but i'll link the ones that i've bought but yeah really bargainous and exactly what i wanted which very often happens at the shoe doesn't it right that is my haul that is the haul and all of the haul as my friend carla would say i think i better do some clearing up now i hope you enjoyed that all the information in the description box and i'll also put all the links in the pinned comment at the top of the section sorry the top of the comment section for anybody who doesn't know where to find the description box that's it i'm out of breath thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye